Hey everyone, Tiffany here, aka HT Lanier, and um, I wanted to shoot this video today because I'm going through a lot of transitions, as I think I'm always going through. If you probably go through some of my videos, I probably say that a lot. But transitioning is good and change is good. And I wanted to shoot this video particularly for those of you who feel powerless. Um, whether it's powerless in your like everyday life or you don't feel like you have the power to make necessary changes, I wanted to touch on that. I have been going through a meditation series with Oprah and Deepak Chopra the last couple of days. started on Monday, it's a 21-day meditation uh, challenge. And so as I'm, you know, transitioning into my businesses more and have so many exciting um, projects and things lined up for the upcoming year, I'm just really trying to be present and be focused and really meditate on what it is that I'm always trying to accomplish. And you only can do that when you are centered with yourself and you take time to really just block out everything else and take some time to do some natural healing, okay? So if you are interested in doing that, I suggest you look that up. Um, Oprah, I'm sure if you Google Oprah and Deepak Chopra's 21 day meditation, you'll find the link that you need uh, to get started. But I wanted to make this video because today I was meditating and I was trying to find a journal for me to write in because that's a part of the churn or part of the uh, challenge. So I was going through one of my boxes because I still have a lot of my stuff in a box. Just moved to Colorado two months ago. And uh, I was looking for a journal, something, because I used to journal a lot when I was younger. When I was a teenager, I used to write all the time, you know, diaries, personal journals. And I knew I had a journal in there that probably I didn't write that much in and I could start using it again now. So I found a journal that I haven't written in since like 2005. <laughs> so I was about 17 years old. Uh, six, yeah, 17, 18, or going on 18 years old. And to see how far I've grown in those seven, eight years, um, it's crazy. It's absolutely crazy because so many people ask me now, why are you so happy and so positive all the time? Like, have you always been like that? And to be honest, no, I haven't. <laughs> Um, my new mindset and the person that I am today is not the person I was probably even five years ago. I've changed a lot over the last few years and I've grown a lot um, just because I started to take more time to pay attention to myself, my feelings, my emotions, um, what makes me tick, what makes me happy, what makes me sad, and started analyzing those things. But I wanted to share with you <laughs> The state I was in seven, eight years ago. I was definitely more depressed. I was depressed often. I was, everything was woe is me. Everything was happening to me. I remember asking God, the universe, why me? Like, why do these things keep happening to me? Why am I always sick? Why does my relationships uh, suck? Why am I so broke and why is it so hard? And it's just, you know, everything is why, why, why is, why is this happening to me? And I've been out of that place for so long that I think I forgot how that feels. And so when I came across this journal this morning, I uh, started reading through the couple of things that I did right. And it's just really funny to, to see where I was then, where my mindset was then and where I am today. So I wanted to read you one of the, I guess it was a poem that I wrote at the time. It's semi-depressing, <laughs> but I wanted to read it to you just so that you can see uh, where I was coming from. So it says, far away. Happiness seems so far away. I just can't take much more of this. I'm so, or so I'm here to say that my life must change for the better in order to, in order to have peace of mind. But I feel that there's nowhere to run, no place to go, nowhere to hide from the pain and the sorrow that I feel. Where can I go from here? So as I'm reading it and kind of analyzing it as I'm reading it, I obviously noticed that change needed to be, you know, I needed to create some kind of change in my life, but I felt stuck. I felt powerless that everything was happening to me and I had no control over my life, over what it is that I wanted to achieve at the time and I was just lost. And now I'm in such a different place. 
a place where I feel more powerful than ever. That I know literally every day that I wake up, every day that I make a decision, it's mine, it's my own, it's my choice. It's my choice to live happy. It's my choice to live fulfillingly and to accomplish my goals, my purpose, my passion. And it was my choice back then to not recognize that, if that makes sense. Back then, I had no control, <laughs> none whatsoever. It was just, this is my life. It sucks. This is all I have. And there's no one, no thing that can help me. And, and really what the reality is, there is no one, no thing that can help you. You have to recognize that something needs to change within yourself. Because even with all the motivation, the inspiration that I may give you or that you read through books, that's just kind of... To, it, there to help guide you to where you need to go but ultimately you have to dig deep down inside and know that you do have the power to change anything that you want on any given day any given time um, that you can start living a life that is more fulfilled more catered to serve you than to make you a slave to it so when it comes to personal relationships, when it comes to building business or being in your career or whatever it is, if it doesn't serve you and you're feeling powerless, then you need to think, what is it that I really want? What is it that I want in this relationship, in this business, in this job, in, you know, in my hobbies, in, in these organizations, whatever it is that you're actively a part in and it's not serving you. Because you, you feel know it. when something just isn't right you know when it just feels bad when you feel like that you need to think why do I feel this way and what can I do to change it not tomorrow not next year change it now when you are actively present in your life you are fully aware of the possibilities and of the capabilities that you have personally when you live in the past or you live in the future then you're not really there, which is why so many of us stay in a state of constant pain, sorrow, depression, because we're not really there. We're living somewhere else. From past discretions to future anxieties, we're not living where we are right now. Because if you are, you'll know that this thing, this person, this uh, organization, these people are pulling at me and they're pulling at me negatively. So where is my power, my personal power, to do something about that. This is my life. This is not your life or their lives or whoever is affecting or you think is affecting your life. This is for you. So grab that inner power. Know that it lies deep within, deep within you, which is why I encourage you to meditate and to really understand your desires to fulfill the life that you want to live because it's, life is worth doing. Life is worth knowing. Because if you're not doing and knowing, then you're not really living. You're basically just surviving in it and just kind of going along with it, okay? So if you're feeling powerless today, think about it. What is it that you want? In whatever the situation you may be in, what is it that you want? Once you realize what is it that you want, you need to take action, right? You need to do something about it and start taking action daily to start having exactly what I want or what you want in your life. It's possible, you can do it, you just have to do it. So yeah, if you enjoyed this video, please share it with someone, share it with a friend, share it with a family member that may be feeling powerless too, powerless to change. Because as you can see, I've come a long way in the last seven or eight years. I'm not the girl that I was seven years ago. I'm not the girl that I probably was last week. Um, because I'm constantly focusing on creating change in my life, change that serves me, change that is positive, change that is sustainable, to creating a life that I ultimately want to live. And we all have that ability, we all have that power, and it seems at times that life really does nothing but run you down, right? But you, you are the source of your happiness. Like I tell people all the time, happiness is really not a destination. It is a way of life, as everything else is. It's your life. So find the things that don't serve you and let them go. Hold on to the things that do and create more of that into your daily life. 
I hope this helped. I will talk to you soon. Make sure you connect with me um, through Facebook, Twitter. I'm on all those things. Live with Tiffany. You can usually find me on that handle. And I look forward to talking with you and connecting with you more. All right. Take care.